choose a new installation or read the configuration from a database where Symmetric DS was previously installed. There is only one server node for each Symmetric DS network, which is where configuration is done. Other nodes in the network are client nodes. Let's start with the server node. A profile is a pre-built configuration for a common scenario. We'll build our configuration from scratch. Every node belongs to a group, which makes it easy to change settings for the entire group. Since this is our server node, we'll call the group server. Every node needs a unique ID. It can be a number, a location, a person's name, or anything that makes sense for your business. We'll give our server node an ID of zero. Specify your database and how to connect. You'll need a JDBC URL, a login user, and a password. Drivers for most databases are already included, but you may need to place your driver in the lib folder of Symmetric DS. See the database notes in the user guide for instructions. For a cluster of servers, you can specify a different URL for clients to use. Most people will use the default URL. Choose a user and password for accessing the administrative features of the web console. We'll finish our setup and now you can log into the console for the first time. The license key can be installed by copy pasting it from your email. Click on the configure button and the groups item. We'll create a new group for clients that we want to sync with. Under group links, we specify how we want these groups to communicate. When our server has changes for clients, it will wait for the client to connect and pull the changes. Click OK to create a default router. When our client has changes for the server, it will connect to the server and push the changes. This configuration puts the client in control of opening connections to the network, which works well with when the server is behind a firewall. Next, you'll want to add client nodes to the network.